again, that sounds incredibly familiar. Actually, I wanted to listen to the page. So once again, we can simply copy-paste our melody here. Now, be careful, this is not the case in this song, but it could be in other songs, um, that when you're copying a melody, you have to have the exact same number of syllables or your pasting is going to give you um, a very awkward results. So for example, we can see here that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six syllables in this page. In this case, uh, six words, but more importantly, six syllables. Now if I were to copy this, I'm copying a six syllable tune and say for example the lyrics were different it was the same melody but the lyrics were different and there were actually less syllables in this case so now I've got five syllables here and I'm trying to paste a six syllable melody now what happens is since it recognizes recognizes that there were only five syllables here it only copied the first five syllables of my melody and it didn't copy the sixth one. Vice versa, we could have um, a sentence that has, uh, for example, seven syllables. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if I'm trying to paste a six syllable melody into a seven syllable sentence, what do I get? I get overlap, meaning that the first six syllables of this sentence will be set according to what I had before, but then the game, well, the game, yes, does not recognize what to do with the seven syllable that I had before because it didn't know that there was a seven syllable over here. There's only six of them. So what it did was it took care of the other six and then it did nothing to this one. And if you had eight, nine, ten syllables, you will see all of these dots over here that basically haven't moved and that are overlapping. And this pink over here, when you have a note that's in pink next to another note, it means that there's overlap. That's problematic for the game because you can't possibly be singing uh, two notes at the same time. So you're going to have to either remove this one this lower one or remove the upper one but there's no way that you can have two notes at the same time and um, they'll still show up on your game if you were to accidentally leave it in you would actually have two notes on your game that you're supposed to sing and then of course you're getting points for one and not getting points for the other so that's quite problematic so we don't want that let's go back to what it normally was which was uh, six syllables and I'm just simply hitting control V to uh, control C to copy, control V to paste. And let's save. And let's listen to this again. Again, don't be afraid to um, simply select a couple of notes and. listen to them. So as we can see, actually this was uh, want for your as opposed to for your own. So we're going to fix that. We can see that the problem is actually here. What you became one syllable as opposed to two and this is my extra syllable here. That's because when I fixed my problems earlier, I apparently did not fix them properly. What I should have done was split this one into two. And the own should not be split into two. So I'm going to fuse it back. And I'm just going to simply control V to fix my melody. And this is on six. six is, uh, at least on my yes, I don't know for later versions, but six is the default note on which um, yes sets 
the song. So if everything is on 6, it means that you haven't set in your notes yet. What I wanted to do was select... Let's hear this one. Again, I'm just going to assume, and I actually know this because I've done this song previously, that this uh, melody is the same. So, nothing too fancy here. Oh, there you go. This is a good example. See what happened here? In my initial A True Heart, let's go back here, I had three syllables, and in this one, let me undo, in this one I had four because I had cut the true into two syllables. She goes, true. So she goes one note and then she changes to another note where it would seem that she didn't do that on the first one. So in a case like this, I'm just going to copy paste the syllables that are not problematic and then you can do the problematic ones by hand or if you're picky you could copy paste and then go manually change it but I'll just copy paste what is correct and then change what should be fixed by myself That was easy. Now I could essentially do this for the rest of the song, which I eventually will do. Things I want to point out, um, may have done this in previous uh, tutorials, not sure anymore, so just to be on the safe side. If you don't want a note to count, because maybe the person says it so fast that you barely hear it, so it wouldn't be fair that you would be graded on it, or the person is rapping, or maybe you're just not really sure what note the person is singing on, then hit freestyle. If you hit freestyle on a note, you'll see that it goes uh, purple, and that means that there will be no note that shows up in the game. So it doesn't matter if I put it here, or if I put it uh, here. Actually, it doesn't matter if I put it here, or if I put it here, because no note is going to show up in the game. In the lyrics, in the Ultra Star lyrics, it will still be written hard, but you won't be required to sing it. The opposite of freestyle is a golden note. A golden note, which makes your note golden and bold, as opposed to um, italic. A golden note is worth more points than a regular note. You may want to use uh, golden notes, for example, if there's a particularly um, high note in a song. You know how women's songs sometimes they'll have a really, really high note that they hold a really long time. So that can be worth a lot of points. Or maybe there's a very low note in the song. Or maybe uh, just a note that's out there. Like if she's repeating a melody. Well, I say she because in this song it's a female. But say you have a singer who repeats a melody. But the third time he repeats it, he changes it a little. So if you were not paying attention, you would make a mistake. Because you would simply repeat what was done before. Well, in that case, you can put uh, some golden notes in. You can put one note. You can actually select a couple of uh, notes at the same time and hit golden. And they'll become golden. Select and hit golden. There we go. Uh, to ungold, again, same thing. You select the same notes and you click again on gold. You could uh, actually put the entire song in gold, but what would that give you? absolutely nothing. If you put the entire song in gold, it's the same thing as having the entire song in uh, normal. So I've put those back. My advice to you is to use gold notes um, sparingly. You don't want too many gold notes. I think gold notes, it's fun when you're not expecting them, and there's only a couple of them in the song. So I don't like to have like all of this 
would be a gold note, and then later all of this would be a gold note. You know, just maybe three, four in a song, and three, four notes like this, not three, four <laughs> entire segments. I think that's a good standard.